Okay, with 773 subscribers, I got nothing on the current situation between Lunchly and DanTDM. But as three people without kids or a family studying Lunchly, you can see how the mostly the more mature and older generation of YouTubers are not exactly happy. However, I have major issues with both sides of the party. In early 2024, around March, April, Lunchables, Lunchly's competition, due to findings of lead and high sodium content, were petitioned to be removed from the National School Lunch Program in the USA. Now, I don't know about the full story of what went through with this, but I do know that this severely affected the image of Lunchables, especially as this ain't the first offence. Seeing this, someone at Mr. Beast or Logan Paul's HQ, because KSI is in the UK, thought why not create a competitor and with the pretty much on the dot 6 months turnaround time from concept to reality, we got Lunchly. Now I don't know if this is what happened, but I'm just saying this is what most likely happened. From a business point of view, Lunchly is well, it doesn't exactly make sense as this is mostly targeted to the younger audience. And that means you need a driving force to get them to kids because kids don't have money to buy it themselves. Now, in this aspect, Lunchly being run by Mr. Beast and Logan Paul gets a marketing hype as these guys already have a strong kids following. So, a market to sell to. The hype around them will sell the Lunchlies in the short run. However, with the low price on offer, this ain't enough as it's not gonna be easy to convince parents to buy this in the long run. That is where the National School Lunch Program comes in. If Lunchly, which is being promoted as a healthy alternative to Lunchables, can replace Lunchables in the lunch program, that's a major profit for the government, which might be looking for an alternative after the Consumer Report petition in April to stop selling Lunchables, and it's a big profit for Lunchly itself. This would be a major blow to Kraft Heinz, which is the creator of Lunchables, which is why when Dan TDM ignited the fire on Twitter creating a divide, he inadvertently helped Lunchables which is no better than Lunchly. Through Dan TDM, Lunchables got the missing piece that Lunchly had. The marketing hype, and you can see it's starting to take effect and it's helping them restore the image, but it looks like it's gone one better and damaged Lunchly's image as a bonus. Dan TDM's Twitter bonfire was supposed to bring awareness to the unhealthy processed foods and the three YouTubers promoting them, but it instead just helped a much larger corporation keep its place in the National School Lunch Program despite major health concerns and clear the damaged image, thus hyping them up more. Now, Mr. Beast and Lunchly is no better. Instead of promoting clean eating to kids, they thought, let's make something that's slightly less worse and compete with something that's much worse for kids and make more money. Literally, clean eating habits is the biggest loser here, thanks to misguided intentions.